or by a hot melt, it will sit and it will harden. Hardening that is maybe some still small crystalline crystallinity can happen over here. Or you can cure it by cross-linking, so you apply it liquid, you can cure it. Or it can be a combination of all those two, of all those things. And you can have also um, a hot melt, which is maybe acrylic based, and which has a certain green strength uh, when uh, it's applied. And afterwards it cross-links to uh, such a situation. Some examples. Um, <clears throat> here we have natural rubber and hydrocarbon resin. This is the um, the DMA of uh, natural rubber, this black one, and this is the uh, this the, the 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 G, the G prime, and this is the tangus delta. And you see by adding by adding uh, natural, by adding hydrocarbon resin, what happens? First of all, the TG is going up because we have used it uh, um, and <clears throat> a resin with a TG of 65 degrees, so it has to go up. Um, and the, um, the, the G prime is also dropping because it is becoming more liquid, in fact. Um, and what happens here, you go, yeah, maybe it's not completely clear, but it, it, you will meet the, the normally the, the Dahlquist criteria. And again, also, because the TG is going to that direction, the tech will also increase. A PVAC, can that be used? Well, a PVAC is uh, very difficult because it, first of all, it has, uh, it contains, it has a TG of 30 degrees. So we have to add a lot of uh, plasticizer and tachyfier. And on the other hand, a lot of PVACs do contain also PVOH as, um, as surfactant or, or other surfactants. And when it dries, when it's completely dried, then it will uh, disturb also the pressure sensitive adhesive uh, properties. Um, um, so, it, in fact, there's a difficulty. Um, VA dispersions, dispersions uh, can be a better choice. VAA, I said VA because it contains more vinyl acetate than ethylene, and then Therefore, we speak, do not speak about EVA, but EVA. And the TG is already lower, as you, uh, as you have seen the, a lot of slides ago, but it is still water sensitive. Then, um, basically based on acrylic dispersions, um, well, sometimes it, 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 such a dispersion can already be sufficient without any addition. Um, a resin dispersion can help to reach the exact values. Um, but uh, the difficulty is a little bit uh, if you add an acrylic dis uh, an, an, um, resin dispersion in a acrylic dispersion, um, that's the question, how good will those two um, ingredients mix each other on micro scale? Uh, because that's not very sure, not very certain, and it can be bad, and then the um, outcome can be less. One of the methods that is used to have a better mixing is to start with uh, if you have now first of all if you if you have a tachyfier resin then the tachyfier resin will be separately and will act more as a filler than a, a tachyfier but you can start also by um, using the tachyfying um, dispersion 
uh, and uh, add some monomers, and then starting polymerization, and then you will have a better distribution of the resin in the in the in the polymer mix, which will give you better uh, PSA uh, properties. Another is uh, a PSA based on styrene block copolymers. Um, this can be solvent based or hot melt based. And if you can disperse it, then it can also be water based. And what is an SBC? An SBC stands for styrenic block copolymers. So it means that one, it's a block copolymer, um, it contains part styrene and it contains other uh, in another part which is an other uh, uh, polymer in fact. And this is an example of styrene butadiene styrene. This part is butadiene, this is styrene. And you see the difference between a block copolymer and a random copolymer. Those are all random. Where here this part will act, uh, act or react as a styrene. Uh, monomer and a uh, polymer, and this has a butadiene uh, polymer. So, um, yeah, you have different. You have seen that the end blocks were styrene, polystyrene. And the mid block is um, can be different, can be um, polyisoprefences or polybutadiene. Um, and you can hydrogenate it as well, and then you will get polyethylene propene. And this is then the SEPS, or from SBS you get SEBS. And there are some advantages, of course, from this product. Um, it is more um, stable, what uh, for against oxidation. That's true, but it is also. <laughs>